And so the first topic on our to-do list is to add contacts. It's a good idea to get any contacts that you already have into your account as soon as you can. Now these contacts could be maybe some of your past customers that you have their contact data still um, in your system or on your computer. Maybe they're your email contacts in your email account, some friends, associates, colleagues, people that you want to stay in the loop and be able to add into your account. If you already have their data, it's a great idea to get their name and email address, for example, into your account straight away. So with that, we're going to add contacts and establish our existing subscriber base. And so we will do this within the account right here via contacts. And there's actually a couple of methods. The first method will be contacts, add contacts. This is where you can manually add subscribers into your account. So you can manually add their details, choose which campaign you would like to add this particular subscriber into, input their name and email address. So we can say, for example, Abby, and we want to add an email into this campaign. I could assign some custom fields like age or gender or something like that if I wanted. Check this box and click Add Contact. And as you can see, contact added. So that's just how easy it is to manually add a contact into your campaign. And another option you have to add contacts into your account is via Contacts, Import Contacts. And so you can see the different options that you have here to add them. There's a copy and paste method. You can upload a file from your computer. So if you had some type of file, maybe a CSV that you had on your computer of just your subscriber list, you can just go ahead and add them via the file on your computer. Go ahead and upload it. Or if you have an account with one of these services that you see here, by utilizing this integration we have available within the import section, you can simply integrate the service you have, the account you have with that service, with your GetResponse account and automatically be able to import those subscribers into your GetResponse account. I should also mention that whenever you're importing contacts, they're not added to the account instantly. Only because first, your import is sent to our compliance team for a quick check just to make sure everything looks good, that it's a great, nice list of email addresses, and then it can be added to the account once our compliance team checks it over. So that's just one thing to keep in mind uh, whenever you're actually using the import tool for adding contacts to your account. So now that we've actually added contacts into our account, we've got an established subscriber base there via add contacts where we can manually add some contacts to our account and also via the import tool, getting in our larger lists at one time. We can actually continue now to grow our list. It's a great idea to keep your list growing, keep new people actively engaged and signing up for your campaigns. The first option could be via web forms. So let's say you have a website. With this tool, you'll be able to actually add sign-up forms on several pages of your website to allow visitors to your website to sign up to become your subscriber. So it's very easy to create web forms, create new. You'll go through the very easy design step, choose from some templates we have available, customize the detail fields, drag and drop different custom fields you may have created for the particular data you want these subscribers to provide. You'll go through the settings step, setting up any particular settings that you uh, would like for this form. And then on the publish option is where you'll be presented, for example, with the code. So this is where you can choose how you want to publish the form to your website. And you, you or your web designer perhaps could go ahead and publish the code on several pages of your website is what we recommend. That way visitors to your website have lots of opportunities to sign up to become your subscriber. And another option that's available, because maybe you don't have a website, or maybe you do have a website, but you also have a Facebook fan page, we also have at GetResponse a Facebook integration. So by utilizing this Facebook integration that we have, you're going to be able to actually publish a sign-up form on your Facebook fan page. So that way, visitors to your fan page or fans you already have right there on Facebook, since they're already there, you can give them the opportunity to sign up to become your subscriber straight from Facebook. So this is a great idea to help continue growing your list as well. So now we have our list intact via add contacts and import contacts. Our list is growing with the web forms on our website and also maybe our Facebook fan page as well. It's a good idea now we go on ahead and send our first message. So right within your account, it's very simple to send your first message. Maybe it's a newsletter, just welcoming people to your list and just letting them know a little bit more of what it's all about. So within your account, we'll go to messages, create newsletter, new email creator, you give your message a name. This is something only for your 
your reference, no one else will see it. A subject, this is what your subscribers will see. You can personalize it, add symbols, things like that. Choose a from field that you would like for them to see. Enable link click through tracking. You could publish and share on your Facebook and Twitter accounts as well. And then we'll go to next step. There's hundreds of templates available, so you can find a nice looking template, or you can choose to start from scratch if you would like. So we can find a template that looks nice and that we like. And then once you choose your template, you're brought to the message editor. And so here you're just going to simply customize your content. So as you can see, just by clicking within the different blocks and the different areas of the message, you'll be able to edit them. So this, is, of course, is just filler text, so you can just delete it, add your own content, change colors. You could upload your own images simply by clicking on an image and then clicking this option here. You can edit the size of the image. Click here to upload your own, for example. You'll be able to add or take away content blocks based on your needs. As you can see, hovering your mouse over different content blocks gives you this blue toolbar to delete it, to duplicate it, to move it around, all of that. You can go ahead and add, for example, if you need more text by dragging and dropping or double clicking some more of text right into the message itself simply by a double click or just simply dragging and dropping or deleting it. You can actually go ahead and hyperlink very easily via the hyperlink tool here in the editing toolbar. Enter the URL right here. And then we've got a hyperlink now. So it's very easy. Just go ahead and customize the content based on what you need, based on what you want to give out to your subscribers. It's a good idea to save as a draft as well along the way to make sure you always have your work saved. Then when it's good to go and you feel good about your message, we'll go to next step. Choose the campaign or, of course, all of your campaigns that you want to receive this. So you can select all campaigns in your account. Maybe you just want to send this to a couple of them. It's totally up to you. You can exclude recipients if you'd like. So you'll simply choose the recipient details. You'll see them here. Then go to next step. You'll see message summary information. Just giving you one more quick look um, at what you'll be sending out. And then you can choose to schedule the message. So if you schedule it, You'll simply choose, of course, your desired date and time that you want this message delivered or send it now. If you send now, it will be sent out immediately to your subscribers. So we'll click send now. As you can see, well done. The message has been sent according to your settings. So as you can see, we have completed our to-do list. So that definitely feels great. And you are well on your way to very much getting started utilizing your GetResponse account. Now, it certainly is simple and it's just as easy as that to get started, but just in case you guys need help, you are not alone out there. So actually right within your account, if you go to the My Account menu and then click on Support, you'll see all the different ways that you can get some help if you need it. You could of course give us a call, connect with us via live chat, or send us an email. Our customer success team would be more than happy to help you out or answer any question that you may have. We also have a great online help available. So for example, we've got this great FAQ section that answers, I think, almost every question you can ask about GetResponse. Watch a corresponding video, sign up for some of our free live webinars, download some of our PDF manuals. All of that is available to be there for you if you need it. So to finish off, as we said, we've been through all the three steps that we need to really get started in our GetResponse account. Again, I want to thank you guys for choosing GetResponse, congratulate you on a job well done, and wish you all the best of luck and all the success in your email marketing campaigns.